Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to install Tailwind CSS and use it in React. In a previous video, I showed you how to use it in a HTML, CSS and JavaScript project. Also how to install it and set it up in there. And also I showed you how to use it in a Vit project. Now today we're only going to install it and use it in a React project. So if you're excited, like and subscribe and catch you in the tutorial. So let's get started. All right, so we are here on the Tailwind CSS documentation page, which is just tailwindcss.com. That is tailwindcss.com, everything in one word. Now, there's some basic examples here, how Tailwind works. We're not going to talk about Tailwind. It's not a crash course. I'm just going to show you how to install it. Now you can go to documentation docs. From here, you're going to find documentations. And from here, you should find this installation guidance now the first thing that will be selected let me actually make this larger will be this tailwind cli now this is only used for regular project basically html css and javascript project now you would need a post css in order to use it in a framework but if you go to frameworks guides you can see here you can use the next.js laravel vite uh, angular so far and so gatsby and then down here you will find create react app now let's go quickly to create react app and first of all, you need to create a React app, so on, so on. But, 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 up here, you will find this alert. And it will say, let me also zoom in a bit, that Create React app does not support custom post CSS configurations, and it is incompatible with many important tools and post CSS ecosystems like post import. So that is why I would suggest we're going to go to Next.js and show you how this works. So go to Next.js. Click on Next.js. Also, if you want to go back, so documentation, you need to go to Frameworks and go to Next.js. Basically the same thing. Now we're not going to do a Next.js installation. We're going to create a regular CSS, a regular React installation, but we are going to use the steps from Next.js. So have your project open. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. So here's Visual Studio Code. Let's open up the terminal, control tilde on a Mac, or control on uh, or command, yeah, actually, control on a PC. And let's get started with, hope you already have a folder, just have an empty folder called uh, code. And for me, I'm just going to copy, actually, no, I'm going to type it out, mpx create dash react dash app. Let's call the project. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to call it anything. I'm going to install it within here in code. I'm just going to type here in a dot, but you could also type in my, uh, Tailwind CSS dash react install or project. You know what? I'm going to do it this way. Now, if you don't want to create a new folder, or already created this folder, want to install it within this folder, then just ignore this and create, uh, type in a dot. Okay, so let's hit enter. Now, in the meantime, in the meantime, this is installing. Let's quickly go over the process. So we need to go into our project after this step is completed, after the installation is completed. Then we need to create these two installations and install it as a dependency. So we need to install it as a dependency dash capital D, Tailwind CSS, post CSS, and auto prefixers. Then we need to create a Tailwind CSS in it. This is going to create a little configuration file. As you can see it right here. This is going to, so this step, we're going to create this configuration file where we're going to configure where the CSS will be, well, will be compiled. Now, let me go over these steps. So app, pages, and components. This is basically if you're using Next.js. Or, as you can see right here, if you're using source directory, then only use this one right here. Now, we will use source directory because we're creating a React application. So this is what we're going to copy in because this is going to be just a blank folder. We're going to see it just in a couple of seconds. Okay, so the installation is already done. Uh, the last step will be to copy in these three statements and then uh, we're not going to use run dev, we're going to use npm start and then we're going to test this out. Okay, so let's go back to the next step. So we created our application. Now let's CD, I'm going to hit tab. If you hit tab after a CD, it's going to lead you to the next folder. If you tap through this, it's going to show you all of the folders, but we can only see the into my project because this is the only folder that we have. So we're not going to npm start now, but what we are going to do is in, is uh, npm install as a dependency Tailwind CSS, post CSS and auto -prex. Now you can just copy this if you want. Also I'm going to leave the link to everything down in the video description. 
and let's just paste it in and this is going to create a couple of files you're going to see them on the left side also we're going to take a look in package.json because there is where you should now see also is modified you should now see down here tailwind css so dev dependencies tailwind css and the, the current version also post css and auto prefixer so these three were just installed just as we did down here okay next step will be to create our little configuration file so let's go into source you will see this is going to be just a regular uh, react app so don't change here anything just clicked on it next we're going to mpx tailwind csx so launch this little configuration go into your terminal paste it in and it's going to create here our post this is config file and our tailwind.config.js so let's go into tailwind.config.js and within here we're going to copy in only this part right here so within quotation marks pop it into this array okay so this is telling tailwind where the source will live next step will be to into our index.css file right here global css let's say and copy in so i just clicked here on copy you could also do here right click copy or Control c go into he here index and you can basically paste and overwrite everything okay we're done with this part now all we need to do is start our server by typing npm start so just a regular start for react and there we go our react application is up and running now i'm going to go into react and delete everything so app.js i'm going to take the entire header delete it don't need it anymore also delete this logo svg and just going to type in a h1 and let's just type in uh tailwind css in react okay there we go there's a little title now it's centered because it's still using the app CSS. I could also comment this out. I'm going to be to the left. Now let's start and add some classes. So you can see down here this example that's class name, a extra lot three times extra lot text. So let's try this out. Class name and a let's first of all try try out text actually and center. Now this should push, as you can already see, it's working. This should push this back to the center. So let me close this up, drag this to the left side now let's increase the text as you saw it here in our example with text dash free xl i'm not going to hit save i'm going to go back to my application and now hit save and you can see the text was increased now you can play around with this you could add colors to it let's increase the font to bold font bold and this should make the text now bold let's do it underline and so forth and so on okay so you got the idea this is how you install tailwind css you can always see it's working you can add a margin on the y-axis of let's say four yeah that's okay let's say 20 it's also working now there are specific distances that you can add but you get the idea so margin the axis is meaning margin top and bottom if you only want to add to the top uh then do a t but nothing is changing so let's just add here 10 okay so this is how you can install and use tailwind css hope you enjoyed it if you did give this video a like subscribe to the channel of course if you want to become a paying member, I have three tiers of membership. They are new. You can have access to complete courses within YouTube. All of my courses with a monthly subscription. So check them out. This being said, if you have any kind of questions, please leave them in the comment sections below. Wish you a lovely day. Take care. This is NoBPM. Wishing you happy coding. Bye-bye.